you and here to help us understand more dr scott newsom the stiff person syndrome director at johns hopkins thank you so much for joining us tonight thank you for having me and dr newsom some fans worry that she may never get to sing live again how serious is a diagnosis of stiff person syndrome well you know it affects people in different ways and as you heard uh, you know it's a spectrum of symptomatology that people can experience the majority of people will have pain severe muscle spasms as uh, what Celine seems to be experiencing. But in terms of the trajectory where people end up, that is really difficult to comment on. And especially in her case, uh, I just don't know really a lot of the specifics outside of what we hear on TV. Uh, but with a multi-pronged approach in treatment, which could include muscle relaxers, immune-based treatments, non-medication-based interventions, people can get back to some normalcy of life. But I will say it's not perfect. So even the people that I've seen where they're as well controlled as I've seen, let's say another SPSer, they still have daily challenges and it's quite unpredictable. Uh, on average, what is the prognosis for this and the progression? I, I know each case is different, but on average. Yeah, this is another challenging uh, question to answer. You know, not too long ago, uh, there was a study that came out showing that not treating the condition, it will progress. And where we're lacking in uh, data is if we make uh, substantial treatment interventions, including the immune-based treatments, can we halt progression in this disease? We have some data at Johns Hopkins that suggests that, but I think more studies need to, uh, you know, elicit uh, the information about your question. Appreciate the context. Can you help us understand this? Because we just heard in Sloan's report, sometimes the spasms can pose enough force to fracture a bone. How debilitating can this be? Yeah, I will say where I've seen it impact people's lives greatly is when someone has you know that very painful spasm that may be sparked by something as simple as a car horn going off next to them, they go into a full body spasm and fall. They can have head injuries, orthopedic injuries. Uh, you know, I've seen a, a lot of different uh, secondary complications of this uh, condition. I mean, looking at potentially doing another residency tour in Las Vegas, I and mean, we're, we're talking about return to normal life for most people. It's can you make it to the grocery store? You know, can, can you can you perform these basic functions? Can a person with stiff uh, syndrome, stiff person syndrome, perform a multi-hour? Di heavy diaphragm sort of performance with singing and dancing solo live. I mean, it's a lot to ask. It is, it is. But as I mentioned, I think if you have that multi sort of pronged approach uh, and maybe some breaks in between, uh, it could be possible. But again, it, it's hard to speculate too much about uh, Celine's specific case. Um, of course, we all hope she can get back on the stage because, you know, many of us love her music and uh, I'm certainly rooting for her. Oh, I think we all are. Very last question for you. Is this syndrome typically eventually fatal? So we get asked this a lot. Um, I will say it's just like other autoimmune conditions that it's not the disease itself that leads to, you know, mortality. It's usually the secondary complications that ensue that can lead to, uh, you know, shortened life expectancy. But there's no data right now that's out there in the literature that says this is a disease that will prematurely end someone's life. Okay. Uh, certainly appreciate your time on this incredibly rare syndrome. Dr. Newsom, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.